What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Party Heart. Let me cut my truck off for a minute, because I'm going to sit right here for a minute and vibe with you. I'm in my fucking bag right now. I'm in my bag right now, son. I'm in my bag right now, son. Real rap. I'm in my bag, son. Let me cut this. Let me cut this all. Let's echo it. I'm in my bag right now, son. Real rap. Real rap, son. I'm going to tell you why I'm in my bag, right? I'll tell you why I'm in my bag. Yo, you know, I'm supposed to get fuel surcharge. You know what I'm saying? I'm supposed to get this thing called fuel surcharge. Those of you who don't know, you know, it's whatever on the fuel. It's, 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 it's some money you're supposed to get because of the fuel so so high. It's, it's a little, little little bonus you're supposed to get. Anyway, it kicks into your check. So I'm getting this dollar weight plus fuel surcharge. So I'm looking at the fuel surcharge the other week. It was 18 cents. And somebody tell me they're looking at the national average. It's different. Now. The national average for last week, I'm not sure, but when I conferred and checked with partners, they told me the national average for last week was at 42 cents for last week. And I was on the West Coast, and they told me it's a different fuel surcharge for the West Coast. Well, I didn't get that. I got 19 cents. And see, I need to see the national average, man, because this is starting to really, really upset me. You know what I mean? Like, this is the problem. And, 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 this, and, and like, I got a $400 check, man. I got a $400 check and a $750 truck. No. I got a $400 check. And the fuel surcharge is not adding up and the miles not adding up. I got a load. My load was 2,700 miles loaded. I don't, I don't know how they got 19 and some change, but it's just like trucking, 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 trucking. It's, it's always, like I said, man, if you could eliminate all the piece of shit companies across the world and all the people who got their hands out trying to get something, we just people trying to work and live, man. Some of us actually enjoy the profession. But it's all the stealing that is done. All the robbing, all the lying, all the not getting home. It's just all that shit that just makes it so frustrating that you can't even enjoy your job on a day to day. Because as soon as you're not paying attention, somebody's waiting to steal money out your mouth to rob your kids of what they supposed to have, to rob you of what you were denied, rightfully so, because you're doing everything you got to do. But it's people setting up every day waiting to take it all. It's just frustrating, man. It's, it's frustrating. It's frustrating. I, I'm like trucking is just like, man, it's, it's, it's a constant up and down. I worked in a warehouse loading tractor trailers all day. And I mean, it was less frustrating than this. I mean, $18 an hour, time and a half at eight hours. I had medical benefits. It was just so much better, man. I don't care what nobody says. Shout out to the Teamsters. If you got a Teamsters job right now, hold it. I'm telling you, you got a Teamsters job right now, don't let nobody fool you talking about trucking this, trucking that. Hold that shit, man. Retirement all, hold that, man. You coming out here to get stuck up. Every time I turn around with trucking, it's something, man. It's always something. If the truck ain't breaking down, somebody robbing me. It's one thing to another. Now I'm back on Square Stupid Street. $400 check, $750 truck. No, got a wife and a baby. We got no money this week, people. We got nothing. And then these people charge me for getting an advance. So much money, like it's, it's I'm, I'm just, I'm, 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 I'm. The money part, like as far as Abilene, it's just stuff that gets under my skin. Really do, they really try hard. They really do try hard to do good. But when it comes to this bread, certain issues, man, we be having problems with, man. We having problems, man. We have problems. I don't want no problems with my money. I got a load right now, 386 miles going back to Virginia. You want me to give up hair follicles, and then you want to pay me less than what I'm supposed to be getting paid, man. I'm just not happy. I'm, I'm not happy with this whole, this whole, that, that's just, that's just not, that, that, somebody get on here. Somebody get on here. Somebody please help me with this right here. We're told 
All the people who lease onto these main carriers, we told we getting fuel surcharge. I'm pretty sure. Was confirmed with another buddy. My fuel surcharge was 40 to Like, help me out with this fuel surcharge. Really, help me out. Because I don't, I, I just don't know if I'm being robbed or not. And it's, it's. I just, from what I was told about the fuel surcharge, and this lady trying to, well, I'm going by the national average. How can the national average be like 18 and 19 cents as high as fuel is? That doesn't make any sense. So it's like she's lying to me. Fuel surcharge can't be 18, 19 cents, man. It's too low. And especially I go to California, it's still gonna be that low? I don't believe her. I think she's lying. I don't believe a, a thing she said. I think she just said whatever to get me off the phone and get me out of face. But one thing about me with my truck, right? I got a motto since I got this truck, right? And I got a partner, right? He's had about 10 trucking jobs. Me and him are driving a truck about the same amount of time. He's had 10 trucking jobs at the same time I had these few. But since I got this truck, I understand. I didn't understand before why he quit so many jobs and was jumping all over the place. I thought it was him, but now I understand. Cause I see it, nobody's gonna rob me, man. Nobody is going to beat me out of nothing I got coming, man. Nobody. I don't give. A, I don't care who they are. I won't even drive a truck. I go try to get the, with my white people. They cut logs in the wood. I go out there and be the log boy. You know what I mean? Don't want to do it, but I don't want to deal with the aggravation and the frustration. I can't be frustrated every other day or three, four days out of the week with this shit. And I can't be sitting here trying to figure out how I'm feeding my family enough. I didn't get into it for that. I didn't get into it for questions about taking care of my family. I'm truly burnt. I'm burnt, man. Y'all, please don't hit me with all the companies because I still can't get a license plate. So it's just, it's a ball of frustration for me right now with trucking. Like I said, man, I can be here one minute in my zone, you know, showing y'all new rims and putting on my truck, you know. But I love trucking, man, but the business of trucking is, is, is killing me. It's killing me, the inconsistency, man. The not knowing, not knowing if I'm gonna have a check this week. I don't like that. I went to work in that warehouse. I knew every week what I'd make it. If I wanted to make a little more, it was there to make a little more. But I knew what it was. And I had bills. I got bills that need to be paid. You know? Hello? Stop calling my number, nigga. Guys, all these people, and people call trying to sell me stuff all day. Come on, man. I don't want nobody to leave me alone, man. Real rap, man. Listen, man. It's just the business behind trucking this is frustrating, man. Anybody know the fuel surcharge for last week? Please get in the comments below. And please, we almost had eight bands around here, man. Eight bands. Y'all appreciate you for coming through with your boy, man. You know what I mean? It is what it is, man. I'm just trying to keep it real, keep it all the way above. Let y'all know how I'm going, how I'm dealing, man. You know what I mean? What it is with me. It's your boy, Party Hard. Y'all stay safe and stay sucker, mother. Free.